question. I'm a senior looking to supplement my pension by trading. I'm not just looking to make a fortune, just a steady, consistent income. Do you think it's better for me to scalp or swing trade, or should I do some of both? Most traders do some of both. I think you should not plan to supplement your income with scalping unless you're just willing to take one or two trades a day, like buy the eight close, buy the nine close, high probability trades. But those are high probability that you're going to get a measured move up. So it does not make sense to buy the nine close for a one point scalp. The odds are 60 or 70 percent that the market is going to go up here before it goes down here, right? So to me, if I'm waiting for one or two trades a day like this, or maybe there are probably at least three of these a week, you buy the nine close, you sit around, buy the nine close, put a stop below eight, and you put a limit or order, measure move up right here, and you can see that a lot of traders took profits exactly right there. That's what caused that. So to me, if I were in your situation, I would look for a swing trade like that several a week. There are several a day that are you know, reasonably good and just try to get one four-point trade a day. Buy the close in here if you want, or buy bar 30, buy above 36, and just use a wide stop down here or down here. And the probability is high that, that you'll do well. And if you're talking about scalps, I definitely would not scalp for one point. I mean, if you're scalping, I would scalp for at least two points and not try to take too many trades. And I would not take any of the limit order counter trend trades that I'm talking about. I would only take trades in the direction of the trend and use the appropriate stop. That way, I think you have the highest probability of making money. But one-point scalps, it's really hard to make a living trading one-point scalps. You've got to be right 80% of the time, 90% of the time. And most people cannot do that. And the ones who do have traded for a long time. And most of the ones who do swing trade some of the time. Almost all swing traders scalp some of the time. So sometimes you look at it and you see a little guy in front of you with a little bag of gold handing it to you to take. And you say, well, no, I only want big bags of gold. But sometimes those little bags of gold are just they're really high probability. So sometimes scalping, even if you're a swing trader, is okay. <clears throat> like buying the five low, right? You can be a swing trader, but you can scalp that. Buying the 11 low, high probability buyers below. You can scalp or swing trade it. But my strong advice is not to plan on supplementing their income with one-point scalps because it just takes too long to get to be a really good one-point scalper. And if you're a senior, I'm a senior, but it took me a long time to get to the point where I can scalp one point consistently well. I think it's far better to just look for, if you are scalping, two-point scalps in the direction of a trend or swing trades, look for a four-point swing at a minimum after a strong breakout like eight close or nine close. You just place your stop down here, you place the limit order up here, and then go to Walmart and come back in a couple hours. Okay, hope everybody has a good weekend.